Shadows are what make things look 3D. So to make this look 3D, we need to know where the light is coming from. So first, make a sun. The part closest to our sunlight is the lightest, but the next part a little further away still gets some light. That will be our medium value. So let's put our hue in that middle part there. For our hue, use a medium pressure, not too hard, not too light. Don't forget to outline your shape, then fill it in. And make sure everything's very neat. What do we call a color we add white to? It's a tint. We'll put it on the lightest side where the most sunlight is reaching. Remember for a tint, help yourself out by using light pressure. Don't press hard. Then add white right over top. You can press a little hard with your white. What do you call a darker color that we added black to? It's a shade. It's going to go the furthest from the sun on the bottom here. To make your shade, press a little harder. Don't forget to outline your shape, then fill it in. add some black over top but be careful you don't have to press so hard black is usually a very powerful color so you don't need much to make it darker now look again we do have an issue can you see it my medium hue and my tint are too close they look like they're the same value so I need to make my medium um, hue a little bit darker by coloring another layer over top. Double check your crystals. Before you finish, make sure that it's clear there's a light, medium, and dark. If you want to try this advanced technique, you can. It might just look a little richer. You can find colors that are similar to the color you already used and add just a little bit more, um, not too much, just a little bit more to change the color. Um, remember that when you add two colors on top of each other, they'll blend together. So you can shift the color a little bit just to make it more interesting. I like to do this with shadows. Black is a little dull, but if you add something like here, this is a dark blue in my shade, um, it looks a little less dull, a little bit brighter, more energetic. So you'll color all the crystals on your page, but make sure your sun stays in the same place. So here I have my one crystal has a light, a medium, and dark side. The red crystal, the lightest side is closest to the sun. The medium side where I start my hue is in the middle. So my hue's in the middle and my shade or my shadow needs to be on the far side away from the sun. My tint is the lightest side closest to the sun.
always check your crystals. I did it again. My medium value is still um, not dark enough, so I need to darken this part. Remember, when it's a group, always put the tint on the same side and the shade on the same side so that they all match. Now, I happen to use um, watercolored pencils when I did this. So if you use regular colored pencils or crayons or something like that, you don't need to do this step. But if you happen to have watercolor pencils, then our last step is adding a little bit of water over top to turn the pigment into paint. 